What's up? This is uh, my review for and information for the Shearwater Nerd 2. Um, I happened to get this computer when I wanted to upgrade my existing computer to get one that had AI. And in doing so, I discovered there was not a whole lot of information out there regarding this computer um, for various reasons. So, I've been diving with a, a Petrol 2 for a long time and wanted to upgrade to something that was air integrated. Um, the rest of the family is using the Perdix AI. So we have two of these in the family. We're probably about to add a third. So I was really looking at this one and upgrading to this since I was pretty familiar with it. But uh, I happened to go to the dive shop with my mask here, diving a full face spectrum. And uh, the, while I was at the dive shop, I decided to look at this and how it might work with my setup. Um, and it seemed to work with the Surewater mount mounting to my regulator. And it was a seemed to be a possibility um so i left i came back another time and then was made um stumbled into a deal for this one this and a transmitter for less than 800 dollars. so if you go on amazon you can get this brand new with a transmitter the last time i looked was 1900 dollars. so i couldn't pass that up so I bought it, um, and I have done, let's see how many dives with us, this I have now, I have 23 dives so far with this, um, this one's a 2017, so it's one of the original, um, Nerd 2s. Not long after I started dive with it, diving with it, I got a um, Inno dive mount for my Spectrum, and we'll go over that. So we'll go over uh, my pros and cons and some other information about it. It's a it's a heads up display, so you have all your dive information right in your line of sight um, that you can easily glance to. It also has all the features as like the Perdix and the um, Petrol, as in the modes, Nitrox and all that. And then it's air integrated. You can uh, connect two transmitters to it. I have one connected at the moment. Um, cons, the biggest is probably this and a transmitter. The cheapest you can get is $1,900, like I said before. So, I imagine that's pretty much what turns a lot of people off into looking at this and why I didn't find a whole lot of information when I looked at it the first time and then the second time when I went back to the dive shop and then had an offer made on this. The second is uh, having the integrated battery. Um, you can't change it like these. If the battery dies in this, I just change out the battery and I'm good to go. I have to charge this. And since this is a 2017, I'm uh, kinda already seeing where the the battery's starting to degrade, which should be expected. So at some point in the next couple of years, I'll have to mail it in and uh, get, a, get the battery changed, which is about $100. Um, I've been, uh, getting i can probably get somewhere between safely five to seven dives on a on one charge as long as um i minimize leaving the computer on and downloading to the app uh that's oh that reminds me of another thing this one, this computer also seems slow to upload to the Surewater app, like when you sync your dives with it. These, the other two were seem to be faster um, in doing that. 
Uh, the last minor detail is uh, the kit doesn't come with a wall adapter. Uh, it just comes with uh, a cable battery stick and this to to charge it. Uh, other things to note: the first two dives I ever did, I used the Shearwater mount. Um, and on my setup, it moved around a lot because my Spectrum, the regulator, has a lot of play. So, depending on what was going on, I may partially see the computer or couldn't see the information at all. So, I happened to go on the internet and find the NO dive. I think I said that right. Mount, contacted them. They said they could make it. Uh, and then I got one within a, about a week or so and have been doing that ever since and that's made the all the difference in the world I usually uh, put the computer on or mount it to the mask and then when I get in the water is then when I adjust it because it, if I try to adjust it ahead of time it's likely gonna shift a little bit from like if you're jump, um, boat diving or doing something like that so I just wait and as soon as I'm going down, then I'll adjust it to my side of um, field of view. And then that's usually the only time I have to mess with it. So I use this one set up as my primary. Uh, the compass is on. And then I have it set up how I want to, or with the data I want to see. And then I still use my um, petrol as a backup. But I turn the compass off for this. And I have it to just display the clock. For personal reasons um that's pretty much it uh, the the few reviews and what little information I could find on this those that had it really loved it um, most people were apprehensive of putting down a lot of mo the amount of money to buy this which is probably the reason there are not a whole lot of reviews um, and information out there with it it's would I say it's for everybody um no uh, I would definitely with the cost of this probably try to find somebody with one to see how you liked it um, before dropping that amount of cash on it because you can always go to one of these for a lot less in, including a transmitter but since I dive the full face, uh, I really like it with it displaying the information there. Um, it helps out too because I have uh, junior divers in the household. So I can keep an eye on what's going on with my dive profile while watching them as well. Make sure they stay out of trouble. So that And that was a lot of uh, information I've seen or uh, for the people that did have it. They... Uh, seemed like quite a few were dive professionals dealing with students and they really like being able to to see their gate their computer while also keeping an eye on the um their students anyway i hope this helps if you've been looking at this computer um if you have any questions let me know i'll answer them to the best of my ability thanks for watching